This video is going to demonstrate you how to weigh a compound in a lab to prepare a standard solution. This is a top loading electrical balance with a least count of 0.1 mg. 0.1 mg means you will be able to weigh compounds till fourth place of decimal. For operating the balance, switch on the balance with the help of power knob. In case the display is not showing zero, it means there could be two reasons. Either manually adjustment has to be done or the pan balance has to be pan of the balance has to be cleaned. For that, switch off the balance again. Gently open the window. With the help of a tissue paper or a soft muslin cloth, wipe off the Close the window again, switch on the instrument again and wait. If it is still not zero, manually adjust the zero with the help of zero button or escape button. Wait. If the reading is stable, the pan the balance is ready to use. For weighing, we make use of a weighing tube. Weighing tube is a small glass bottle with a lid over it. For weighing purposes, lid is not used because the compound may utter on the sides of the lid and you may experience a compound loss during weighing. Keep the lid separately on a clean paper. Open the windows of the balance. Place the bottle gently on the pan. Close the window to avoid any air disturbances. And wait for the reading to get stabilized. Once the reading is stable, this may be recorded as the weight of empty weighing tube. Now, without disturbing the balance, gently open the window again, take out the weighing tube and add an approximate quantity of the compound to be weighed in the weighing tube with the help of a spatula. Don't try to use a paper spoon for transferring the compound weight because in that practice you may be able to Leave some of the compound on your fingers. Put the bottle back on the pan. Close the windows and see the reading. If this reading is too far from the desired value, the compound may be either need to be added or taken out. For that, again open the window, take the bottle out, either take out the compound from it with the help of spatula again or add the compound back to it same as earlier. Put it back, close the window, observe the reading. Now if it is nearby, we may record it as the final weight. This is the weight of the weighing tube with the salt. Now, again open the window, pick up the bottle and transfer the contents of the bottle into a measuring flask with the help of a glass funnel. Glass funnel is used to avoid any splitting of the compound during transference. If any compound is sticking to the bottle, please gently tap the bottle again so as to take out the last grain to your possible effort. Do not add water to the paint tube to take all the compound out. In all this practice, the weighing tube either should not be placed anywhere outside the pan 
and in case it need to be placed it should be only on a clean tissue paper put the tube back into the pan onto the pan close the window and note down the reading this is the weight of the weighing tube after transference of salt the difference of now the last two readings will give the actual amount of the salt transferred into the measuring flask this actual amount is to be used in calculations later on for calculating the actual strength of the prepared standard